What's poppin' homies, it's your boy Frank Nitty. Yo, apologize for the win. I'm downtown right now, Lake Eola. If y'all from Orlando, y'all already know Lake Eola. This was like one of my favorite pastimes, man. I used to come down here like before I go to work and go running. I used to live downtown at one point in time in my youth. But um, besides, yo, I'm back in Orlando, so why not come through? Hey, come through. Hey, say hi, Jordan. It's a little kid looking uh, up. <laughs> That was the kid that pulled up to me while I was doing my intro. All right, y'all. Yo, today is Tuesday. I'm in the Elements. I'm outside at Lake Eola. Lake, Lake Eola is downtown Orlando. If you guys are from here or been here or know about Orlando, it's like a big old lake in the center of a park. Not really a park. I mean, this swings, but it's not really, really meant for parkish behavior except for the kitties. But, you know, people walk and jog and run around the whole lake. But anyways, man, it's great scenery. Um. This is my back alley rendezvous. This is when I pull up to this Nike alley. I always drive through here, still driving through the parking lot. Sometimes I just hate it when people figure out tricks and, <laughs> and techniques that I, I do, bro. Oh, man. Sometimes you ain't the only one, man. Sometimes you're just not the only one. Just pull up to Nike Outlet, man. I just left Lake Eola, as I told you, man. It was nice and sunny outside. The birds were chirping. The swan was our swan diving. Some of them was having babies, actually. The squirrels was running around loose, rampant. There was a plethora of people out there man good times very great time right now if you in sunny shine florida man don't even have to be orlando i think throughout the whole florida is, is pretty much gucci right now no rain it's not cold i got shorts and t-shirts on right now but anyways man we just pull up to this nike outlet the last couple days was uh cancel families and friends or a potential i don't even know because friends have, yeah i guess you consider families and friends because families and friends give you 30 percent off the whole entire store but they kind of not give us 30 percent off the entire store they give us 30 percent off all footwear which was pleasing it was very uh appreciated thank you nike but anyways man let's go inside we finally made it now they're saying up to 50 percent the entire oh selected items my bad $19 for basketball shorts. You got red, blue, black, and gray. Not bad. I actually like this t-shirt, man. This remind me of the, well, not remind me of, this is like the Westbrook uh, tins. Goes perfectly. The Harashi tins, man. And look what's sitting right on top of the shelves, man. You got these joints, so they may have a few pairs. We'll see what's the prices. They do have them. 30% off these Jordan shorts. I bought some Jordan shorts the other day I haven't shown you guys. I'm gonna do a big old outlet pickup collection video. You got this, this is also Jordan T. Quality inspired by the greatest player ever. Got this Fatigue SB Nike jacket, lightweight. Is they even showing up? Open up my eyes so a little bit. What you guys think? This is actually dope, man. What's the price on this? Hope it's like 30 something dollars. Bottoms only, $35, <laughs> I spoke too soon. So that means this is nowhere close, $55. They also got the shorts that I'm no longer messing with. A lot of people ask why I don't like them. It's because when you wash them, it's like, that's it, it's a wrap. You get one wear out of them, man. Now, unless I don't know how to wash clothes, um, I'm not sure why they don't last, because they're not only faded, but they also shrink. However, when I was moving, I still kept them. I was this close of throwing them away, but I kept them. I wear them from like inside shorts, like. Go and get the mill shorts, mow the lawn shorts. This jacket's not bad. I'm seeing a lot of 30% off tees, man. Like like this, I don't want that. Like I need items like this to be like super discounted. Oh, it's $34, not bad. Nike SB shirt like this with the camouflage swoosh on the chest. Just do it tank tops. I mean, I guess it's safe to say to get a pair of black basketball shorts at that price won't be too bad. I think I already got these though, so I'm gonna move on. I see some all black KDs on feet. Maybe they got some pairs. Yo, I need a backpack too, man. I'm actually thinking about 
a backpack like this where I can use for ball. Put some clothes in there, probably maybe a laptop if I need to. An all-purpose backpack, man. This is dope for kids. I'll rock that. Well, <laughs> I'll buy it for my child. <laughs> I'll rock that. I'll buy it for my child. I like that Nike shirt. <laughs> I'll rock that. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying half the time, man. But anyways, man, we're in the SB section. I got a lot of SB lovers, so I'm gonna show you guys right quick what they have for SBs. Uh, Y'all let me know what this is, man. The Bruin VPR Tex. It's a TXT. I'm, I'm insinuating that means Tex. But anyways, these are, these are also 70. Hard pass for me on that. Even though the price is great. $60 for these. These casual golfers. Then you got these canvas joints, the Blazers Chaka XT. Leather joint. And then you got the, I don't even know, the Zoom Janowski, $50. Multiple sizes. You can get any sizes you're choosing for all these SBs. Now we're in the Jordan aisle. You got the slippers for 30. You got these red faded ways for 70. And you got these for 30s. This generation 23. Hard pass, bro. Wow, look at the price. 40 beans for these. That's crazy. Well, not really. I believe it should have been that for retail game. Yeah, I was just talking to one of the homies, man, that I have met at the Travis Scott release at um, Kissimmee Clearance Store. Y'all remember that video? But anyways, I have randomly ran to him, man. I just ran to him again today. It's funny how like six, seven months we didn't see each other, but we still remember each other, man. That's the rapport you kind of built, man. You in these outlets, as much as he is and as much as I am, man, you kind of run to the same people. But anyways, man, let's keep it moving. But anyways, man, before we keep it moving, <laughs> we got to take a look at these Jordan Flyknit Evolutions, man. They're in for $50, man. So it's not that bad of a price. However, it's all about what you're going to do with them. Now, if you're into soul swaps, I think this would be ideal. The beard entry is very minimal. If you got a shoe that you like to restore, this could, this could be the move. $50 to restore a shoe that's probably worth five, six hundred, that's old, that's probably way out the price range that you're willing to pay. Buy this, so swap it, because look at the outsole. Good deal. And they got multiple sizes, man. So all you customizers out there, man, Nike Out is a spot to go find affordable shoes to do your soul swap. Moving on. Jordan T E Lowe's, man. What you guys think about these all white joints? They're going for 54. Uh, I'm just gonna leave them where they're at. Now these shoes been struggling, man. These shoes been struggling, man. If this shoe is the F cat, <laughs> the a SATs, the ACTs, bro. This shoe has been held back so many times. They are not budging at this price. They've been, they've been through the $90. They've been through 109. They've been through probably 69, and they're still around. It does say sell, but look. There's plethora of sizes, 13s, 12s, 10s, 9s, 11 and a halves, 8 and a halves. They're not going nowhere. They're not going nowhere. Maybe if we do this. Does this look more appeasing? Another idea. If that shoe ever gets to this price, do your soul swap. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes, man. 119 is not the best I have seen it, but I do have a lot of different sizes. 11, 11 and a half, 11s, man. I've seen this shoe as far as low as 109 with 20% off. Yes, that's that's not a lot. That's real facts. Yo, what's up with these? What's up with these traps, bro? What's up? What's up? $99 if you care for them, if that's what you're into. Yo, at first, at first glance, not mad at these uh these breads, Jordan Futures. $70, man. Also a good soul swap shoe for the breads. If 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 the bread colorway outsole is that color, I wanna say it would be, wouldn't it? What you guys think, man? Um, well, not think about the shoe, but the outsole. Is that the same um, outsole as the breads that's dropping later in this year? As rumor has it. Rumor has it. Multiple sizes, 10 and a halves. 10 and a halves and eights. All right, here we go, the LeBron 16s, man. These are not, to me at first, I thought it was the, no, I didn't. No, I did not think that. No, I did not. These are the pepper joints. The salt and pepper joints, bro. Not bad. I actually like this shoe. I like this style. Battle knit. Um, I think it's Zoom Air and Zoom combined. Dope shoe. Well, as far as comfortability. Player, I guess, is average. But that's debatable in a lot of people's eyes. 160 if you want them. Damn near close to retail, though. They need to come down a lot lower for me. Okay, let's try and take a little bit of uh, Jordan 11 Thunder by having that uh, toe boss being patent leather. Okay, I'm in. I guess it's flattering, I guess, when you start stealing from other people's ideas. You know, 11, Tinker Hatfield, whoever makes a LeBron, kind of kind of put this in a 
kind of stole that from their bag and put it in theirs and add it to theirs. But it's each his own. If you like it, buy it. If you don't, keep it moving. Kobe ADs, he's probably doesn't budge in at all, oh, man. $65 if you care for him. Here we go. These are the KDs I saw on the mannequin. 109 is the price. I saw them a lot cheaper before. So for me, this is not a great deal. For y'all, maybe it is. As frequent as I frequent these outlets, man, I have seen tons of deals and some of them impress me and others don't. This does not impress me at this price. What are these, bro? What are these? $70. Yo, would it be worth it if you buy this shoe, chop the top off, and have yourself a low legacy 312? Is it worth the trouble? You guys let me know. $80 if you want them. They also got the rookies for $80 as well. Multiple sizes, size 12, 12, and both pairs, 13s, and both pairs, size 11. From a distance, don't look that bad, but you know how to say. Good from far, but far from good. $50 if you want them though. $44 for these, and we're keeping it moving. $40 for these, Kyrie fly traps for that person who correct me. <laughs> Probably thought I was an idiot because I called these uh, curry lows. They're not curry lows, they're fly traps. And I appreciate it, man. You know, I don't have no calls of people correcting me when I'm wrong. I mean, that's part of the game, right? That's how you learn. So now when I see these, I make sure I call them what they're called Kyrie fly traps. Thank you, sir. Thank you for correcting me. Now, here are the curry lows. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> More fly traps. More fly traps, and these are going for 65. But anyways, these are the lows. These are the Kyrie lows, and they got a little strap. They got a little strap on them. Um, still got the same technology. Got the zoom on the forefoot, and they're going for 90. Okay, okay. Man, I'm seeing some Air Jordan 1s on the back back wall. What are they going for? They better not say 169, 109. Okay, not mad at them. And these are size 10. 109 size 10s for the Hyper Royals, man. What you guys think? The leather is kind of nice on there. It's kind of nice. It's not shabby. And then you got some foam posit cups, I believe, right? Air Force One foam posit cups for 119. Damn, I wish I had additional discounts. <clears throat> Yo, I'm going to do a collage of all the shoes that ever fell when I'm doing a Nike Outlet video, man. From when I start doing Nike Outlet. It's going to take a a long time to go through all that footage but i think it's worth it man there's so many shoes i think like nine percent of all that i have done shoes have fell on me but anyways man let's keep moving as i pan the wall i found these joints more 270s these are 109 lebron's up here look at these lebron's the lebron soldiers also these supreme highs man not bad these purple these are the barney joints quick strike 30 dollars bro these high supremes are 30 dollars all right, here goes the denim dunks, man. The Air Force, oh, they're not even dunks. They're uh, SBs, Air Force Two Lows, Quick Strikes, the denim joints, though. Oh, what was the price? $70. Oh, so they got them in a size 11 and a half. Look at somebody already tried them on, though. Same price, though, 109. Yo, why the price hasn't changed on these, man? I thought these went down in price, because I'm waiting on them. 130 if you need those, 130 if you need these. These are like the cream, right? Yeah, the white wolf gray colorway. Both of them going for 130 though. Thought it would be cheaper by now. Yo, I said enough about these shoes, bro. They're going for 100 these Vault Air Force One utility joints. Off-white inspired. These classic Barclays, man, for 120. They're called Air Max, Air Force Max CBs. They're going for 119 though. Then I saw you in the back wall and you hanging out on the shelves, showing off for $60. All right, all right, I'm mad at you. Got full size run too. Do your thing, Cortez, do your thing. Classic joint right here. Ah, these, these, the 90 print joints going for $99. Okay, so it's, it's Nike's being stubborn, bro. <laughs> they don't want to re, renege on that price, man. It's been like this for a good minute. Not a bad shoe. They got multiple sizes. Now, Air Max 90 is not my biggest, uh, well, I'm not the biggest fans of the 90s. Uh, I'm not opposed to having them, but they got to be done, done super right, man. But I do like the fact that they got the, Alligator swoosh, printed, I don't know, neoprene toe box or polyurethane. I don't even know. Uh, let me stop acting like I'm a science major. But they got the suede on the toe box, though, and on the tongue. Nike on the back heel. Yo, won't you come down price, man? Come down, just tap it, man. Just tap it. Just, just, just tap it. Multiple sizes, 11 and a half, 12s. 12s, 12s. They got a plethora of 12s, shit. 10 and a halfs. Okay, what's this, what's this? 
Oh, the Air Max Sequence 3s for 80. Then you got the 270 Futura SE 109. Got the all black for 120. Not bad, multiple sizes in all three pairs I just shown you. 140 for these uh, Deluxe SEs, bro. I'm a, I'm a fan of Deluxe now. Um, as far as the Deluxe XEs, yeah, this rubberized upper, no. Nah. The, the midsole is what got me in love with this shoe, man. I like the 97 Mike's 98s, but for the SEs, I'm not a fan of this. Clearly don't like the 2017s, any colorway. Not that, not that colorway. This colorway's not that bad, but still not a fan of the, of the shoe. Clearly not that price, bro. Yo, they came back, bro. They came back. It's clearly not the price that I paid. They were 69 with 30 off. These are just 80 with no additional discounts, but they got multiple, multiple, multiple different sizes. It's not bad. Apparently this whole row is... Somebody just trying to call me while I'm recording, man. Don't you know I don't got my camera camera? I'm using my cell phone camera. I hope the quality comes out okay. But they going, these are going for 70. Air Max 90 EZ. Air Max 90s for 105, not a fan of this shoe. We've seen this multiple times. Actually, the last time I was here, I saw this. They're going for 55. I actually do like the black and yellow colorway, but I'm not a fan of these uh, Air Max 94 SEs. All right, this is going for 80. Not bad, man, for Air Max 95. 95s is also a good Air Max shoe, in my opinion. They're also a staple. The ones, the 95s, 97s, 98s is my opinion, but people like the 94s i guess this is you know it's acquired taste but these are, are priced pretty good man i wish nike would allow me to price some of these shoes man i'll make it affordable i mean reasonable affordable where they can make money and i think everybody's like yo let me get them let me get two pairs um it's not a bad price so this is well 90 dollars for this joint uh the green joint uh i don't think i could pull that off i probably wouldn't want to want that shoe yo now if this price comes out even to that point yo this is a this is a this is a this is a <laughs> I can't even speak, bro. I'm so excited just the fact that it was like $69. But yeah, man, if it comes reasonable, I would definitely pull the trigger on these, man. I actually like these. I kind of passed them up when it first released, thinking like, oh, I'll get them later for going to sale. But the fact that they went on, they went to the outlets doesn't really mean nothing. Maybe there's a few pairs left over, but this is not the first place I have seen them, though. So it could have been Nike just want to get them off the shelf. It looked like it's a, it was a seasonal shoe, man. I want to say it came, around, came out around the holidays and it didn't sell. So maybe that's reason to hear now. But I think it's a good executed shoe, bro. 170, uh, I'll chill though. Dude got my size. Patience. Patience, Grasshopper. Patience. All right, so this is the last bunch of the Air Maxes, man. You got the 270s right there. And then you got these premium fly knit Vapor Max. Very pricey, in my opinion, though. So we're going to keep it moving. Now, if I was to pick a shoe in here before I leave and walk out the door with, it'll probably be these at 119 or these joints. And that's solely off of price and aesthetics. I like the Air Max 1s and I like Air Jordan 3s. But overall, it gotta be these because this is probably the best price for your buck at $80. But I already own this, so. Well, multiple pairs. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Nevertheless, man, I just love enjoying to see what's on sale. I'm a sneaker enthusiast at the end of the day. I'm actually trying to keep in shoes that I actually, actually enjoy. Um, I am been ho I've been hoarding a lot of shoes for the last couple of years, man. So it's time to release some. I'm trying to leave them on the shelf. You know what I mean? Leave them for somebody who would probably appreciate it a little bit more than I would, even for a great price. Now, if it's a steal, like I can't resist, I'm definitely going to pull the trigger. But nevertheless, man, I saw those Euro Max 1 print. I already bought a few of those. And a few of them I still have to sell to you guys. I still have them. I just haven't been situated, haven't created the website. Maybe I might just throw my IG and then first come, first serve, whoever, man. You guys can pay the price I paid for them. I got like three available for sale. One of them are priced out of my control because I bought it at that price at the time. So you can you can find some for the price you saw recently and then some for, and then you can see one of them for a price um, a little bit more than that. Other than that, man, I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for pulling up. You could be watching any other YouTube video out there. But damn, my arm is killing me. Ugh. My arm was killing me. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up, bro, because my arm was hurting. I uh, appreciate you guys for watching this channel, man. Thank you. Thank you. It means a lot, man. We on the we we, we tipped over the 20,000 subscriber scale, man, so we're going to keep it moving. Hopefully, sometime in the near future, get this to 30, 40, 60, 80, 100, and your boy can get that plaque. You know what I mean? So I can put it on the wall. And that'd be something, a milestone that I have accomplished here on YouTube, this platform. 
Um, other than that, man, I'm rambling a little bit too too long for an outro. So I appreciate each and every single one of you guys for watching this video. If you're new to this channel and like what you just saw, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell as well. Don't forget to leave those comments. Your boy is replying to each and every single comment. Until then, until we meet again, until I'm in front of your computer, I'm behind this lens or this phone, you already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap.